my god! Fucking <laughs> 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 Andy, what are the odds that it came in? There you go, now it's <laughs> Welcome back everybody, Captain Jack Spear here. We're doing another local trip. We're gonna dive probably up the whole East Coast. We've got a good crew, got Scotty Boy back there. My dad run the boat, so free reign of diving. I love that, because we'll be able to uh, dive and nobody has to be boaty. Jess is coming, she might get in the water. Spencer's coming, everybody knows Spencer because, you know, he's weird. Also, Dean, going out on the white water. Gonna crush it. So we're already starting off the day right for some weird reason. Scott decided to show up with a mutton and a AJ. Yeah, we got fish in the box before we even leave the dock. We're that good. Spence, your coconuts make me go nuts. Alright, you're gonna stop with that? What the fuck? All right, at the spot, first spot, diving 200 feet. Now, obviously not gonna see the bottom, but we're gonna, holy shh, Nike, that was the lava. We're gonna see some crystal blue water. We're gonna hopefully maybe get some uh, good drifts, maybe get some cobia, some kind of pelagic, some uh, wahoo, kingfish, I don't know, whatever we see, but I'll see you guys in the water once we are ready. It's my oopa, <laughs> it's my, it's my papa. We are at a new spot. Oh, this looks okay. Yeah, last place was kind of a bust. A lot of sharks. I hated it actually. We are gonna dive some reefs, so we'll uh, we'll hop in and hopefully have some better luck. What you got, Spence? There's the stud. That was the one we were looking for. <laughs> All right, interview time. Run us through it, Spence. What happened? I saw the rest of the guys all balled up, so I knew I had to break free. <laughs> <laughs> went to, I saw the edge out there, so I was like, I'm just gonna sit on the ledge and watch the ledge. And I went there and I, I saw this thing cruising, and I thought it was like, a big margate. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, it's a mutton. So then I yeah, kind of turned and started doing this little like slow like walk away thing. So I just, I just crawled on the bottom. And when he had, like, was history. <laughs> yeah. Then he like, he did that thing where like, they were like, right, they don't like turn, you know? Was he face on? No, it's going away from Oh, me. okay. So I waited like, every time he would turn and not see me, I'd try to go a little further. Yeah. Until I was like, all right, I'm in range. And he kept like, just, I was like, I have to take the shot. I wait till he did one like, good turn and boom. If you can Dude, see that's awesome. in range when you have a 1500. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good fish. All right, we're, we're live, we're live. Yes, we are. All right, quick update, we're live, we're live. Uh, time for Scott to do what he does best. Scotty, what is that? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get back to we'll get back to you guys later. I don't know what his deal is. Yeah, we're on a wreck. We're gonna try to get some cobs. Try to get well, whatever we get. But you know, we're we're desperate. 
We're getting desperate. All we have is like a freaking 20 pound mutton. <laughs> good, good meat. I usually good miss it, so, you know. Oh. We'll see you guys in the water. I need a full body massage, I think. So as you can see, when we jumped in on this wreck, there were a ton of bull sharks, which is not very conducive for Wahoo fishing. Unfortunately, these sharks had zero cobia on them, so we were starting to feel a little down. When I returned to the surface after this dive, it was about five minutes later, I was face to face with a monster wahoo and i turned my gopro on it made a quick dive right before i shot my gopro started recording and the rest you can see from there this shot is exactly what you want i shot right through the spine and completely demobilized the fish which made it easy to land Size of the boat. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> he snaked it. Snake me. He right in front of me. There were two of them. I know. I I didn't even look the same thing. I just saw him come in and I just dropped and shot. Oh. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> the biggest wahoo I've ever seen. Shot. Well, yeah. I was, I was just, just like working the super hard. And all of a sudden I see Jack is like, he said his gun. I was like, what? I look up. There's two wahoos. Yeah. And then I hit him and just thought. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> dude, what a. Stunned, oh, man. My God. <laughs> oh, dude. That's all of 50, 60 pounds, dude. That's a, that's a dude, big what a water, dude. Damn. Shit, dude. Wow, man. Jesus, that dude. That is a beast. What a fing wahoo, man. Oh, my that God. Is so fat. Ready? Oh, my gosh. Besides, better. You want to fuck them? God, yeah, leave me. Pour that fucking water on. Hey. Okay. Uh, Hang on, let me get one too. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> so that was insane. Alright. That is easily my biggest Wahoo I've ever shot and landed. And the fact that I spined it was just un. Real travel all across the world and to shoot freaking Wahoo and I shoot one right in my backyard freaking trophy fish that is a monster there were two of them hopefully I got it on GoPro I'll have to go back and look because I was just about to do a dive and then he came in on me but I whew, super stoked we're gonna be eating good sashimi stoked the celebration Absolutely. Well, that's the way we used to do it until the whole caucus. Until we got three years old, two or three, probably two or three years old. All right, so we're at my house. We are. What we did with that wahoo is we diced it, the tail end, up in the pieces like that thin, and threw them on the grill, marinating some soy sauce, and this is what you get. On the grill, damn it. Yeah, it's okay. And this is all the people we got in our house, feeding all these people. Vlogging, guys. What's up? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, 
Dude, you can't beat Wahoo, man. It is so freaking good. All right, so, hold on, let me go outside real quick. All right, everyone, so I hope you liked this video. It was a truly a fish of a lifetime for me, and I'm so happy we had a good group of guys. It was just a great, great adventure. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions on what gear I'm using or my tactics or anything about Wahoo, go ahead and leave a comment below. And like always, I will see you guys on the next adventure. See ya. Hey everyone, so I wanted to share with you what I'm gonna do with this Wahoo. I'm going to get the jaws and make a jaw mount. Pretty easy, all I did was get a big pot, put water in there, got it boiling hot, and let the head boil in there until all the skin boiled off and it was nothing but bones and skin. After that, I dumped it out in my yard, sifted through, grabbed the bones that I needed, and this is what you get. All right, you get kind of get kind of get an idea and put it all together when you're there sifting through the bones. I got it all sorted through. This is what I have, and all I'm gonna do is just put some salt, cover it, and cake it, and let it sit. That'll kind of help dry out the bones, so there's no smelling, no nothing left, and it'll dry out all the bone. And you know, all you'll have left with is just hard bone. What I might do is I'll actually probably bleach it, use some hair bleach, and let it sit in the sun. That'll give it that really pretty white color, and hopefully it turns out good. But We'll go ahead and get into this and then I'll hot glue it all together and you guys will see the end product. So stay tuned and you'll see real quick how this will turn out. 